Yo, is there a save or? <laughs> okay, cool. I need items though. Can I not choose? Oh. <laughs> really? <sighs> well, let's just take a crack at it since we don't know what's going to happen. Let's take a crack at it. See what we do. Who knows? Maybe the end of the game is Asgore being like, What up, buddy? How's it going? The elevator is in use. Boo! blocked by padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Ugh. Oh god. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Oh, there are two beds in here. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Nose nuzzle champs, aww. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, nice day today. Ink is still wet. became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Oh my gosh. Oh, equip it. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He 
transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village, there, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. He'll let us go. He'll save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points, a way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your experience increases. When you have enough, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you faced. You strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love. But you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. 
Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. There's gotta be a way to not kill him. I mean, they wouldn't have given me some of his backstory. You know? If there wasn't a way to get in touch with him. The throne room. I don't know which path. Oh, I hecked up. Oh well. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say... Would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. I feel like, uh, I feel like Goat Mom was, used to be the queen. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. roll though what's down here it's a coffin there's a name engraved on it Duger it's empty what the shit oh god I don't have any items. Oh, fuck. But I don't think that there's like a shortcut to be able to get back very easily. Okay. Go shopping. Well, I don't know where I can go is the thing. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see how easily I can get back, because I feel like I'm going to need items. Let's see if we can go get some items, guys. 
Let's just go see really quick. Ah. Ah. Ah! Good. Good, yes. Okay, never mind. Got it all sorted. Give me one of them parfizzles. Start phase, yo. It's for twenty-seven. I feel like I missed out on stuff that happens over here, but I don't know. Sure. No, you don't. If anybody's losing it in chat, I'm not looking at you. Sorry. Not looking at you. I don't want you to spoil shit for the end of this game. Just in case. It's a throne. It's another throne covered with a white sheet. Derpy Turtle, thank you so much for subscribing right at the end of the game. Thank you so, so much for becoming a Purito, for supporting the community. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Why are there so many saves? Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I'm not ready either. The fuck? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. What I don't understand, okay, so, uh, I don't get... If the only way to get through the barrier is to have one human soul and one monster soul, then why don't we just walk through together? Can we break the barrier from the outside? We must be able to, because the barrier was put in place by humans, right? No, let's just do it. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the- Oh, I see. The coffins are all- are for the bodies of all the humans. You're filled with DETERMINATION! 
human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Holy fuck! He just got rid of my mercy. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh god. Oh, he fights like Goat Mom. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack is dropped, and his defense is dropped! Seems talking won't do any more good. Aw, oh, man. Really? All we know? Man, that happened so fast, it's so unfair. Determined! I have determination! I'm gonna die. I'm totally gonna die. Shit. fight. I don't think so. I don't think- I don't believe in that at all. Some talking won't do any good. But I'm determined! But I'm determined! I don't think I have anything that can heal anymore. Except for snowman piece. Sorry, sweet snowman. All you can do is fight. Nope. Refuse. I refuse. I refuse to believe that. It happens way too fast! I'm gonna die. This is it. Yeah, shit. I didn't grab that sword because I didn't think I'd need to. And now I'm like, fuck. Maybe I should have. Let me go back.
There must be a way. There's got to be a way. We didn't find out all that stuff about Asgore. And like... Ugh. Just to have it turn out that... Ugh. Take into account that you're level zero. Yeah, because I haven't... It doesn't make sense for me to be punished at this stage in the game for not killing people. Or trying not to. He's killed you four times, he nods sadly. So slow, it's not fair. Tilt! Two on tilt right now. Fuck! Like, why? Why the fuck does this happen? Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for supporting the community and becoming a Pareto. I'm sorry I'm so salty right now. Blah. Fuck, 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 fuck.
he does. Okay, let's try talking to him. Really? Even now? Even now, at this point, sir, you still refuse? Uh, Palandra, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for subscribing in this moment. When I might do it, but might not. I don't know. Asgore, I don't want to kill you. Oh, I didn't. So that's how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No way, man. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Oh, he looks so happy. Oh, I love this music, too. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. No. No! I swear to God, if it's that fucking flower. <sighs> oh my God, you idiot. You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. The game fucking closed itself! The game fucking closed itself! <laughs>